afternoon sir yeah very good afternoon can i get your resume yes nani can you introduce yourself thank you for giving me this opportunity sir my name is nani i'm from mahalpur which is famous for mangoes i have done my post graduate in mca from sornalar college of engineering and technology coming from my technical technical skills i am currently pursuing dotnet course from nitin course software Uh, my project name is digital and let's say image using machine learning this is a ms pro ms processing project the main use of my project is finding natural disease either cancer disease or not coming to my family i have a beautiful family of five my father is a farmer my mother is a homemaker i have two brothers that's it okay coming to technical uh, what is c sharp first of all c sharp is object oriented programming language It is developed by Microsoft. Whenever we want to create web applications, Windows applications, desktop applications, mobile mobile applications, we have to use C sharp. Yes. Mm, what are uh, data types? First of all, data types is a specified size and available values. Um, types of data types. Data types are two types: value type, reference type, reference type. Value types come to value types. Value types. If there is a fixed length of fixed length or memory, mm-hmm. reference time, there is no fixed length or memory. Yes. Now, what are conditional statements? What are the different types of conditional statements? Yeah, conditional statements. It is a decision making statements. Uh, conditional statements are four types: if, if else, else, if, switch. Uh, conditional looping. Conditional looping is nothing but Looping कहाँ है? Conditional looping is executing multiple times. In either condition is satisfied. Uh, types of uh, looping. Looping सा four types. For, for, do, do and for each. So, what uh, when we will go for for loop? What is the syntax for for loop? For loop. First of all, uh, loop loop is a loop is a execute multiple times. Uh, either condition is satisfied. Uh, no, condition is satisfied. So what is condition? And the first is initialization. Initialization. And third one is iteration. Yes. Now coming to what you know, uh, what is an array? What are the different types of arrays? First of all, arrays is arrays is used for single data types. The main use of arrays arrays is um, array used to array used to store multiple values in a single variable. Hmm. Uh, types of arrays arrays are three types: one-dimensional array, two-dimensional array, jagged array. Okay. So, what are OOPs? Why we need to use OOPs? First of all, OOPs OOPs is stand for object-oriented programming language. It is uh, to develop complex problems by using class and object. Oops. Okay. What are the four major principles of it? First of all, oops, oops principles are inheritance, polymorphism, data abstraction, and calculation. Okay. What are uh, polymorphism? What is polymorphism? What are the types of uh, methods under that? Polymorphism is nothing but it is a it is a One one task performed in many ways is called polymorphism. Polymorphisms are two types: compile time or run time. Okay. What are uh, what is abstract class? Abstract class is nothing but uh, <coughs> it, it consists of it collection of it collection of abstract members and non-abstract members is called abstract class. Okay. What is interface? When we will go for interface? First of all, interface interface is look like a class. But it not a class. It uh, when we declare a class with uh, uh, interface keyword is called interface. Uh, the main use of interface is C sharp does not support multiple inheritance. This problem overcome by using interface. Okay, very good. What is the uh, uh, shield class? Shield shield class is it is also class when we declare a class with uh, Shield keyword by is called shield shield class shield class the main use of 
this um, this is does not create object. This does not this does not support multiple uh, functions. So what are partial classes? Partial class uh, is nothing but it splits into one or more classes uh, to implement multiple methods by using uh, partial class. With the class same, with, with class name will be same. Mm -hmm. Okay, different parameters. Exactly. So uh, coming to uh, what is ASP when we do for ASP? First of all, ASP stands for Active Server Page to develop web applications in server side by using ASP. What are the different controls available on uh, ASP? Yes, uh, yes, sir. Uh, label and uh, linked, linked button and link button and uh, text box. So, what are events? Example button. What is the default event for button? Button will have click the event. Yes. Now, what is ADO dotnet? Why we need to go for ADO dotnet? First of all, ADO is and for active data object. Hmm. The main use of ADO is to interact with the data source by using ADO. So, uh, what are the SQL connection classes, different SQL connection classes? SQL connection, SQL command, SQL command, SQL data adapter, uh, SQL data set. Yes. SQL what, uh, good. What is SQL connection? When we will use it? To connect the data source from database. To connect the Database. Mm -hmm. So we have what? We will be passing what parameters under SQL connection? One is data source. One is uh, initial, catalog. Initial, initial catalog. The other one is? Data source is uh, da data source name. Initial catalog means uh, server name. Mm -hmm. server. Good. server name and database name. Database. Enter in, in case if we have Windows authentication, we use what? Integrated security or security. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what is SQL Server? First of all, SQL standard for structure query language. It is a it is a collection of uh, rows and columns. It is a collection of rows and columns. From the main use of SQL is. Uh, To store the data from database. Mm. Yes. So, so what is MVC? MVC stands for Master View Model View Controller. The main the main use of MVC is the business logic. Mm. Business logic there. Business logic. Mm. Model is like what it will be acting like. So controller, view is like user interface. Model is like what communication, uh, business logic, and data classes where we can take, and the controller will be acting as a mediator between both. Yes. So what is HTML? HTML stands for hypertext markup language. It is a front-end technology to develop web applications in front-end. It was nice, uh, Nani. Thank you. Thank you.